Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about Love by Erica. Y'all, these videos are for entertainment purposes only. Don't get mad at me. I'm just stating what I see and I have nothing against Erica. I just hope she really sees the value in herself. With that being said, let's get into the reunion part one. We already know about the pregnancy before the video dropped and you went to his house. Yes, he did. Oh, wow. These YouTubers know they be staging the heck out of stuff. But yes, he did. Um, I, As you guys did see where I sent him the pregnancy test um, and a text message. She sent him the message on October 22nd and the video dropped October 25th. She said it was his idea to do the stage video. Let's watch a clip of the video. I'm pretty sure that he is going to be surprised and maybe even like kind of happy to see me. Because one thing about it is um, we didn't leave off on bad terms, but, you know, breakups really do hurt. So we didn't just, you know, we didn't jump right back into a conversation. This will actually be my first time seeing him and talking to him since everything happened. Um... Yes, girl, you can really act. Let's get back into this clip. He is asking her why she came to the house. From the video, you can tell that that man wasn't happy. But when you make your bed, you must lay in it. I can say there are some pretty good actors because I believed every word they said. They really fooled me. What about y'all? Now, let's get into the next question that she was asked. You say you were outside the abortion clinic with Dion sleep in the back seat. They don't allow kids inside and they have someone drive you home. Well, one, I've never had an abortion before at all. And on top of that, I was unaware of the new law and stuff like that that had taken place. However, when I called that morning, they said that they were booked up. So I needed to actually come in and schedule an appointment for a later date or a later time because the morning time came and they were booked up. So yes, I had Dion, and I'm pretty sure once I would have actually went in and signed up, they would have went over the paperwork for me and I would have made sure that Dion was either with his dad or with my mom. So that was if I was gonna get it done. That doesn't sound right. If you called and tried to make an appointment for the morning, they wouldn't have told you to come in and make an appointment, especially with COVID going on. They would have just given you an appointment over the phone. Like I said the first time, I just believe you wanted to hear from Mucker. So you just drove to the abortion clinic acting as if you were going to get an abortion. Like you said, you knew you didn't want one anyway. Let's get into the next clip. If you lost your keys, that's because my keys were not lost at first. Whenever I accidentally slammed his dryer, when I was talking to him and he called me a freaking dummy and I started packing my things and I called my manager and I was so peaceful and so calm and I was not expecting him to put his hands on my things. You know, like he started packing my things for me. That's what they do when they see you in control of things. If you would have left on your own, you were taking his power away. However, by him packing your things for you, he felt like he was back in control again. And I didn't need his help because I was already packing my things, out well, our things for myself. And he started snapping his fingers in front of me. He told me that I was moving too slow, that he had things to do, that I was wasting time. So once I had seen that, I grabbed my car keys off of the counter I then 
walk outside to put my kids in the car. Around that time, that was like October, so it wasn't yet too cold and it wasn't even hot. It was just like a normal temperature. Hence, the reason why we were outside looking for the keys in the first place because I had gone outside to let them in the car. So basically, you left your kids in the car to go back in the house to fuss with Mucker. Let's get into the next clip. I said out my mouth that I was going to delete his YouTube channel because I had nothing to show for it and that the relationship was a waste of time. She said she had nothing to show for the relationship. Were they actually in a relationship? A real one, you guys? Or was it just a YouTube relationship? Because I remember the clip where he acted like he was forced to say he was in one. I feel like they were bad lovers and friends in exchange for a YouTube come up. This is just my opinion, y'all. Now I'm going to show y'all the reason why I'm saying this. Let's get into this clip. Him, because, I mean, any anybody in their right mind would be like, oh, she buying me food, she being she's super nice, you know? So I leave. Now watch this clip, y'all. <laughs> y'all want to know if we are official. I'm going to let him answer that. <laughs> you don't let me answer <laughs> They want to know if we are in a relationship with each other. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. It's getting forced. Back to the story, you guys. I called Damien. He was with his girlfriend at the time. So, y'all don't see why Criola Bay had the right to be mad? He did not answer the phone. I did not speak to Damien until the next day to inform him what actually was going on. So, uh, or the next morning or whatever. It wasn't the next day, it was the next morning. So, um, I was going to ask Damien to get the... Uh, get us a hotel. If I'm not mistaken, I had asked him to get us a hotel and he said no. So, let me get this straight. You want to ask Damien to buy you a hotel room and you know he has a woman. Do you not feel like you are overstepping your boundaries? Baby mama or not, there must be boundaries in place when dealing with baby mama and baby daddy drama. Okay, now let's go to the next clip. He feel that Damien was not a good father. Well, um, I would say that's partially my fault. You're right, it is your fault. My fault because I expressed several times about me being frustrated because at the time, like- Because at that time, you wanted to make Cryer look bad. Now, let's get into this clip. I'm a little emotional because last time I was over here, Dion, like, really started saying that day for the first time and he actually called um, the Mucker family Dad, dad, and I just seen the way like his eyes lit up and stuff, and yeah. So every time, um, every time Dion sees him when he ain't got a bottle in his mouth, he always say dad, dad, and like his smile just every time he sees the mother family just lights up. So I'm sure you were talking about Mr. Cryer to the mucker, but it's normal. That's what people do when they break up. Let's get into the next clip. Is it true that you cheated on Damien and didn't really know who your child's father was? No, that is not true. As I stated in my season finale, I was in love with Damien despite what people think. Do I think she cheated on Damien? No, I don't. But I feel like she was having conversations with Mucker, so let's get into this clip where she admitted it spent a lot of money so i mean and it wasn't like i just randomly hit him up you know like he used to text me out the blue periodically he used to send me videos of his daughter cooking and stuff in the kitchen so it wasn't like you ain't never told me none of this stuff mr crier was really shocked but we don't know what he did to make her want to talk to him yes i did i actually mentioned him in the live you remember Moving right along. Hey, Damien, tell you about her having one ovary. That's a good question. Okay, so Damien didn't just flat out 
say, oh, she only got one ovary. No, like I think I actually was the one that brought up the conversation about babies and I was cracking a joke with Damien. He had came over to the house to drop off Dion and I said, hey, before you go, do you mind putting together Dion hot chair for me? Because I was trying to put it together, but it came in so many pieces and I didn't know what I was doing. So he came in the house, he was putting the hot chair together and when he got done, I asked him if he wanted something to drink and he kind of just sat on the couch and we was talking and I cracked a little joke with him and I'm like, you don't find that suspicious? You don't find that suspicious? Um, I guess Dion ain't gonna be the baby anymore. And he was like, yeah, he is. And I was like, yeah, right. You know you're gonna get her pregnant too. And he was like, no, she actually can't have kids because she told me that she had one ovary. You were telling Cryer about Mucker and he was telling you about Creola Bay. And y'all confided in each other. These two people had a reason to be mad. They wanted payback. From what I see, everybody was playing childish games. It seems like whenever things didn't go Erica's way with Mucker, she would call up Damien to chat. Now, let's get into this last clip. People are saying you're jealous and want him back, but can't have him. What is your reply back? Okay, guys, let's see what she said about that. It's new to her, so of course she's going to think the world of him, but one day she's not. That's the reason why I don't have any reason to be jealous. And also, um, size do matter. Wow, she hit the man with the size, guys. But in the video, she was acting like it was humongous. Let's play this clip. I don't think that's doing too much, man. I already did that. Yeah, I want to cuddle. Come on, man. Come on, cuddle with me. No. Why? First off, I just woke up. And so? we already discussed this already. So? What you mean, so? Get up, girl. I ain't got no clothes on. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be pranked in the morning. I had to do a lot, actually. So you just over here free ball with everything. Why wouldn't I be? Sometimes I don't have a shirt on, I just had it this This bed is big enough for both of us. <laughs> Erica, honey, you practically begged this man to sleep with you. You have to take accountability. You got yourself into this situation. You cannot blame it all on the mucker. A man will only do what a woman will allow. No, the abuse was not your fault. When a man is seeing another woman, they will mistreat the main squeeze. It's not right at all. It happens to the best of us. We have all been cheated on before. Even Beyonce. However, you wanted a baby with the mucker. I believe you wanted to prove to the internet that he did want you. You wanted people to know you were sleeping with him. And what better way to prove this than to get pregnant? However, it didn't turn out in your favor. It backfired. Now you are a single mother with three children. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that if that's what you wanted, but I'm sure you didn't. You shouldn't have a baby by every man that you are with, especially in that short amount of time. You really didn't get to know the man. I'm sure the muckle would take care of his child just like he take care of the other ones. There is not much he can do while you're pregnant besides feed you or pay for your shots. However, you telling him Damien is the father, you shouldn't do that. Do you really think Damien is going to take care of another man's baby once he has another girlfriend? Especially how you said he barely got your son when he was dating Latoya. It may sound all fine and dandy now, but just wait on it. I hope all things work together for the good of your child. I hope that all four of y'all can sit down and talk before the baby gets here because y'all are going to be in each other's lives. 
You shouldn't control who comes around the child when he is with the mucker. That's like him stating that this is my son and I don't want Mr. Cryer around him. Is wrong. I'm curious. If he didn't give you any money, he wasn't a nice person, he didn't take you out to eat, he couldn't put it down in bed, what exactly were you so hooked on this man for? What possessed you to lie on Mr. Cryer? That's my question. Well, that concludes this video. I just wanted to state my opinion because they put it on the internet for the world to see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Until next time, bye-bye.